It's Cromba Cookie Monday. I have an exclusive sneak peek, guys, and I'm so excited. Okay, so we'll go over the cookies that I have for this week, but I got an exclusive sneak peek on the Thanksgiving flavors that they're going to be having. So this is the mm, pecan pie. We also have a little tiny sample of the pumpkin pie. Um, these were technically made on Friday, so they're not super fresh. So they did forewarn me. But I'm just excited to try them because I feel like this is something that's cool and innovative and it's smart. And I think it's going to be fun to do on Thanksgiving. So if you have any Thanksgiving plans to get that done and bring the like one of these, it just makes your life so much easier. That smells really good. So normally when I go for pies, I'll go for usually anything besides pumpkin. So I know that they're going to have like an apple and like a French silk, I believe. But I usually avoid pumpkin because I just would rather have some of the other ones. Look at, this, look at this cute little slice. Okay. Mmm. That is actually very good. That tastes like a normal pumpkin pie. Like, it tastes like I was expecting it to be like, like it's a crumble joint, like not a crumble. It's a cookie joint, right? So you're like pies like, but they're all bakery, so you, maybe they would have excelled at it. That tastes really good. That tastes like a solid pumpkin pie. My nose is itchy. With like a buttery, soft crust. The pumpkin filling is light and decadent and creamy. It's slightly sweet. Little whipped cream dollop on top, which I didn't even get. But like, that's very good to me. Like, I feel like that's, that's pretty freaking good. All right. Anyways, uh, pecan pie. I don't even know how to get this. Like... I guess we're just gonna hold it like this. Got a little pecan pie action. Maybe I can rip her open. I can't. But like, look at that crust. Let's see. That's pretty good too. For the fact that these were made like three days ago, they're still solid pies like that's really good like i don't i don't know i have no complaints i guess great job crumble um <clears throat> just when you were like you know what i think we're good i think we're coasting i don't think we need to come up with anything more you guys add two more cookies every single week and do you put out pies now for thanksgiving like good for you man i wish i was like I'm not going to say I wish I was smart like that because I'm smart. I wish I was innovative like that to come up with a creative product. Like, do you guys ever watch Shark Tank and you go, that was such a brilliant idea. How did I not think of that? That's what I think all the time. I'm like, <clears throat> wrong pipe. Why? Oh, why have I not thought of that myself? It just like hurts my feelings. Anyways, um, pink velvet cake, mint mallow sandwich. You guys know I'm not a mint lover. I should have gotten churro, but like they haven't, I haven't seen this cookie out yet. So I had to get it, but I'm not a mint lover. So like, this is going to be tough for me. Lemon cheesecake and then oatmeal skillet cookie. I've had the oatmeal skillet. I've had pink velvet. I don't know if I had it in the cake form. At this point, I don't even know what I've had. There's just been so much that crumble cookie has come out with that it's hard to keep track. I know I have had this though, because it was good. I think all the skillet cookies are just like really cool. Look at that. Like that looks like a dollop of vanilla ice cream. Are you kidding me right now? And I know it's not, but it just, it looks like um, a thing of vanilla ice cream or butter, like could go either way. But it's just, it's so good. Okay, hold on. Let me do that, lick, and then a bite. And then you can see that there's actual like bits of oatmeal in there. Which means that it's just like real instead of using like oatmeal flavoring. Is that a thing? I don't know. Anyways. Yeah, that's great. I love that. I love their skillet cookies in general. I say this, I sound like a broken record, but I love innovation. I love when you can think of an idea and you're like, oh, that would be awesome. Let's try to make it into a cookie. And then they do it and they excel at it. Like that's sick to me. 
I've said this before for the chocolate chip skillet cookie, like I go to Uno's all the time as a kid and that chocolate chip cookie skillet is something that I like yearned for. Like I wanted it so badly all the time. So now to have this like elevated cookie of it, but to have like oatmeal versions of it and whatever else, like I just think that's genius. I think it's so good. Okay, lemon cheesecake. You guys know that if I am gonna have lemon, I want a lemon curd like that on top and that's exactly what we have here, which is a win in my book. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like me a lemon curd. It tastes like lemonade. I don't necessarily love to have just a lemon cookie, but a lemon curd on a cookie, I really like that. I think it's sophisticated. It makes me feel more elegant because I like lemon. I'm like, lem I like lemon things. Um, what I don't love is like lemon poppy seed stuff. This is really good. It gives like cheesecake filling. Um, the, the cookie itself is chilled. I do like the base of it. It's more chewy in texture. Um, and then the lemon curd, like I said, it's just like this like elevated, sophisticated like feel to it, which is what I really enjoy. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna eat this one because she's spilling already everywhere. <sighs> I'll try to take a bite. I took a little bit on that one because that was, was like, huge. Um, this tasted exactly what I expected it to taste like. It tastes like the pink velvet <laughs> cookie but in a cake version of it. So it gives the same exact feel of the pink velvet cookie, but in a cake version. I've said this before, but I like pink velvet over red velvet. Um, I'm not the kind of person where I'm like, I love red velvet, like I need red velvet. There are, my friend Maria, red velvet is like her favorite thing. So to me, the pink velvet is actually what I like. It's not as intense of a flavor as the red velvet. So I really like this one. I also like the, the Boston cream whatever that's in the middle I think it's that one's like the frosting sweet compared to let's say like the cheesecake frosting which is more of that savory like aspect where it really gives that like cheesecake feel to it this one I'm just not looking forward to doing guys I'm just being honest here I just I don't know like do I have to I just don't like mint Nicholas is gonna love this. This is gonna be his favorite one watch. Yeah, it just gives me mint Oreo vibes. Someone else is gonna love this. I'm just gonna have the crusty part. The crusty part tastes like an Oreo, like an Oreo cookie turned into a cake. We've had this Malo sandwich time and time again. I'm sure the mint is phenomenal. I'm just gonna try it and be like, I don't like this. So that's not fair. I'm going to let you guys try that out for yourselves and let me know what you guys think. Um, I think Nicholas is going to love it. It's just, I don't like mint things. It reminds me of mouthwash and I don't want to eat mouthwash or toothpaste. Like, I just don't want to eat it, you know? All right, let's rate them. Oatmeal skillet is by far number one for me. I just love that cookie. I love the skillet cookies in general. Lemon cheesecake is going to be two. Pink velvet is going to be three. And the mint mallow is going to be four. And if we're going to compare the two pies... I think they're both actually really good and I didn't even have them fresh so like I'm not a great judge of it because I haven't had them fresh fresh but I think they're both good like this one has that like caramelizey like crusty like yeah like it's just good sugar like I don't know I like that and then the pumpkin's just a classic so I think if you were gonna go with a pie you couldn't go wrong with either one but lucky me that I got to try both. I can't believe Thanksgiving's next week. This is just like mind boggling to me. I don't know where October, November went, but like it's ending. And then December's just crazy busy because December 7th is my fiance Nick's birthday. So we have that going on. Then my birthday's on December 19th. Um, so I turned 31, Blech. just kidding. Um, so I do have that. And then, you know, next thing is Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and then you have New Year's right around the corner. So it's just like the end of the year is always just so busy and it flies by and it makes me so sad. I can't believe 2025 is already here. 
um, which is exciting because we get married in 2025 and that's an exciting time. But at the same time, it's just like time goes by way too fast, man. Like I don't get to do all the things I want to do. Like I really want, I, I don't even want it to be a 2025 goal. I want it to be a now goal, but like, I really want to not be like, oh, I can't wait till this weekend. Like, I really want to start enjoying each day. I hate the fact that I'm like, I look forward to like events or certain things going on on the weekend and I don't take each day to be like, oh, like I love a Monday, like I'm home or I do my grandma cookies and I get to work and work from home. And like, there's these like small wins that I don't just get to appreciate every day. So I want to really work towards that, not just in 2025. Like I really want to do that now. And it's been something I've been really thinking about because just the days flying by is not fun, man. Like we are so limited on time and with the family and friends that we have near and dear to us. So I just want to make sure I really appreciate it. On that note, on that like sappy love note, I love you guys so very much. I hope you guys have a great week. Um, I will see you this week for my collab video, like with Wendy's McDonald's esque. You'll see um, that someone had asked for last week. And then what else? Um, yeah, we'll touch base next Monday before Thanksgiving. And I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys so soon. Don't forget to head over to my social media at Shut Up Camilla. And I'll see you soon. Bye.